So welcome everybody. I'm so excited to welcome you. Um, my name is Diane Covington, proud director of the Dynamite Unit. And tonight you are gonna hear some phenomenal ideas. So grab a piece of paper and a pen and you're gonna get some ideas that are gonna really excite you for the holiday season. Now, whether you celebrate Christmas or a different one, it's a great way to know how to merchandise and make um, get your customers excited about what you have. We have to think like a retailer because if they don't spend money with you, I have news for you, they're gonna spend money. <laughs> so they're, gonna, they're either gonna go someplace and, and purchase stuff. So the I always buy. So if you guys don't mind, stay off camera because it does affect our recording. If you guys don't mind, that would be great. And without further ado, I don't know where you went on my screen, Mary Lou, but are you here? Mary Lou, are you, you need to turn your camera on and take it away, Miss Artawine, wherever you are. Mary Lou, are you there? It says that the host has stopped me. It says that the host stopped you? Yeah. Um, I don't know how that happened. You cannot start your video because the, co the host has stopped you. Okay, that- I've never had that happen before. Okay, well, Mary Lou, let me un- let's, let's fix that then. I apologize, I have no idea. Kimberly, I don't know if you did that. It says that for me too, Diane. It says that for me too. Okay, well, we-, we Okay, so we're trying to keep everybody's cameras off, but- um, Mary Lou, can you unmute yourself or un? Let me pause this. Say thank you, Diane. Go I ahead, please. I want to say thank you, Diane, for hosting this and getting it together, and to all the other directors teaching. It was so interesting. I just have to point this out. All of a sudden, I looked at my hand, and I have on my finger the first sales court ring I ever earned, and I love it to this day. Anyway, that being said. It's time to earn one if you haven't yet. Um, first of all, I have to just write preface. But first of all, Kathy, tell me in 10 minutes that my 10 minutes is up. Just take me out again. Um, but I always think it's important, first of all, to have a theme, whether it's a color theme, whether it's a classic Christmas, it's whatever it is, you've got to have a theme because you will go. Just so you know, I'm going to show you what this looks like on my end. Pardon me? Janice, if you can just mute out, that would be great. Go ahead, Mary Lou, sorry. Okay, well, it just like, if you have a theme, it's going to make it easier for you. And for me this year, it was so strange. God put it in my head to have, I'm having a Mary Kay Global Christmas Bazaar which is so me. So you have to find out what is you. And I'm telling you that because it will let you see how my gift giving is kind of geared toward a global Christmas. So first of all, I'm doing, I'm each, I'm having tables with baskets of different products. I'm just kind of going to rehearse this for you. And they're going to be the different, my different countries are going to be in cities, are going to be Paris, London, Morocco, New York, Florence, and Barcelona. So they're all, it's like six of my favorite cities in the world. So what I did is I kind of I'm going to decorate, I'm going to have it in my garage this year, and like I did last year, and I'm going to have, this can be very kind of a bizarre theme, bizarre me, not weird, but bizarre theme <laughs> with me, you never know. So I'm going to have this, all these really wonderful umbrellas, and I'm going to have little globes I got from World Import hanging from them, and I've got all kinds, wouldn't you know, you pick a theme, look, is this not cute from World Imports? I've got Paris, I've got New York, New York. I have London, London calling. Isn't the, aren't these cute? So anyway, so knowing that my first, I'm just gonna say my first table is gonna be Morocco. And um, I'm gonna show you what I merchandise. These are, I'm gonna take these off. These are little bags, Moroccan bags that Kathy found on Amazon, okay? So you can all find these two or if you, and you can, you can copy the theme or do something different. And in here, I've got a lip mask and balm. Mary Lou, can you move that back from the camera just a little bit? Cause it's really close. There you go, perfect, thank you. You just tell me what you want. Okay, so lip mask and balm is in the little bag. And then we got these darling little bracelets, which you can tell I love. And we just put them around the little bag, okay? How easy could this be? And people will buy it for the bracelets, trust me. And um, 
So that is going to be part of my Moroccan one. And then I got the bigger bag and this has a hand cream in it. Can you see that? Just a hand cream, little bag, bracelets around. I forget the price of everything, but um, like the hand cream, you can definitely charge 15 and get everything, all your money back on it. So that's the Moroccan theme. Then the other thing I'm good, then I'm going, now I'm going into Paris, okay? So basically what I did in this one, these are my favorite bags. These are on Mary Kay side two. They're a dollar. I use them every year. My clients, whether they have a million dollars, love these in their, in their purse, okay? They can see what they have in there. And what I did is I did the beautiful wash rag that I know we're now sold out of, but you can put any wash rag in here. And I put the pink clay mask but you can put any mask in here. You might have to take it out of the box. Always include the box and fold it up, but put the mask in there. All you do is do the zipper. And we got these little flowers that have a little clip on them. You can do anything. Once again, use your imagination. These come from the Dollar Tree, okay? And you just unzip the zip a little bit and you clip the flower. Is this not easy? <laughs> and it looks so cute. And you clip the flower and you clip the little foofy. All done. Even a 72 year old can do this. I Even love that kind of girl can do this. You could be five and do this. So this is just such an easy, you can add all your own touches to it, but it's just simple. And everything is, you can buy everything. There's nothing like, weird in that okay and then my other paris of course is remember these lip masks mary lou if you can hold it back a little bit people are having a hard time seeing stuff perfect thank you my dear you could do any you know they have all kinds of masks in you know the dollar tree and whatever so you don't have to have this one this was just so cute and then what i did is also from the dollar tree they always have these little bows so I thought she looked really cute with a little bow on her head, right? <laughs> and hiding in here is a product, which is the eye gel, okay? So you draw, you put your mask in, you put your eye gel in. If you choose, you put a bow on her head. These are cute. And then you put your little, you clip once again, you can clip your little, instead of putting a bow around things this year, cause I want things to, I want the little mask to show, right? So it's hard to put a bow around it. So I just was thinking of alternative ways of, of merchandising the little mesh bags. And I love these cause you can have them in your car. You can have them stacked up. They don't lose their shape. They don't look all crumpled. They always look fresh. And I love to have a gift that gives more than just one thing. I love it to, you get the eye gel, you get the mask. You can even get to have a clip on flower, whatever. You have a lot of little gifts going on in one. Okay. So um, basically, those are what I'm sh what I'm sharing tonight. I think, and I'm right on ten minutes. So, um, using the mesh bags from side two, everything else from the Dollar Tree or ninety nine cent store, the little bags from Amazon. Just create a theme, stick to it. Don't go all over the board, and love your theme because when you embrace your theme you're more apt to sell more because it speaks of you. So that's it. Fabulous, Mary Lou. And can I just reiterate, so the curly ribbon and the clip-on flowers are all from Dollar Tree? Dollar Tree, and these were last year from Amazon. They're they're just little, they're so cute. They're just, and they look very nice. Um, they're like a just, they're just darling. They're just a little, I always, when I see little flowers that look like they're, um, have, you know, a little panache, I always get them because I'm going to use them sooner or later. And I just, and I really love, I always love these, but I haven't used them before, but I just think that it, it adds a, um, 
bit of festivity, right? We need flowers, I think, are in the hair section, if I'm not mistaken. Those look like little hair clippies. There, you could get them in the hair. Go, you know, just go. I hate to say go search a Dollar Tree because that's scary. <laughs> With your color theme, that's so smart. Hey, I have a little color theme. I have, you know, some are purple, some are pink. Anyway. Great, Mary Lou. Thank you so fun. much. Give Mary Lou a big round of applause. We so appreciate you, Mary Lou. So now Thank I'm you. going to um, allow Kathy Calibro to come on and um, I'm here. I think I just actually put her in the waiting room. Oh, good. I'm so glad I didn't accidentally. I'm here. I can see you. Okay, great. Okay, so 10 minutes. Um, hello, I am teaching you a little bit of gift ideas. For men, and this is funny because Mary Kay's theme this year is awake and wonder. So the other night I was awake and I wondered, literally. <laughs> I go, I was wondering what to do because really I don't sell a lot of men's products. Um, and so it really stretched my brain. But I just take what men's products we have, little men's products we have, and, and embellish when I see things. So the first thing I saw was at the 99 cent store. And I told this to Mary Lou too. And this, these are socks that look like Argyle socks. Can you see? It's plaid and they came like, I don't know, maybe four, six, I think, or they were 2.99 or 3.99, one of those. And I found them at the 99 cent store in Oxnard, I think. But um, you just have to look for men's socks, whether it's a 99 cents or a dollar, you can put them with the tube sock. But I liked them because they match our the men's products. So I put the shaving foam in here and then a razor. And then I had these ornaments I got at the 99. This is a trailer. So I just kind of, everything kind of matched. But I had those from last year. And the ribbons from Costco. So you just got to find masculine looking ribbon and, um, but simple, simple. I'm just going to do that for 20, maybe less, maybe 18 or something. Okay, that is that. And it also came in black, but I didn't embellish it, but there's, you can buy the men's socks wherever you find them. And then um, I wasn't thinking about the price point at the time, but maybe it's because I had a few people that were men's, women that wanted these, but this is a men's facial wash. And I already had this black knitting, I think, I don't know where I got it, to tell you the truth. Maybe it was from Joann's or 99 cents or where I saw, but it came in this huge package. And so rather than cellophane, I use this black mesh because it won't fit in the black mesh bag. So I had the black mesh. I think you can get this at Dollar Tree, but, and then these are from the Dollar Tree. I mean, Joanne, you can get this from Joanne's probably, but this is from the Dollar Tree. I just found those yesterday and just tie a little something on it. I was looking for little pine cone things or whatever, but I couldn't find them at the Dollar Tree yesterday. So I just found the snowman, but, and then oh, I bought a package of uh, washcloths from the Dollar Tree. They're four for a dollar and I rolled it up. And so this is a black washcloth and I just wrap it simple, simple because men don't care about all the fluff, but the ornament they might like. Um, and then I don't really promote charcoal masks to men because I just don't because, um, but it's a good idea. So Diane suggested that. And so I just wrap these charcoal masks with, here, I'll take this off. This is, um, this, these are the disposable black masks, you know, that we have to wear. So I found two of them. I bought them on Amazon, a whole package of 50 and I, wrap two of them around like this. And I just tied it with a little wire ribbon from my girlfriend's house because I don't want to do a bow. And then I had this little hat that I found at Dollar Tree last year and flipped that on. So this is the charcoal mask. That's going to, you know, you probably should charge 28 for that. And then um, this is the aftershave gel. Mary Lou said I was stretching the imagination, but I put the three musketeers candy bar in it with the aftershave because I was thinking of mustache, <laughs> three musketeers. Um, and then I had these little ornaments. There's a snowman that's like from the 99 cent store, I think. 
Um, but this is our black mesh bag from last year that the ocean, you know, the ocean and true original shower gel came, but I took those out and I had the black bag. So I just, you can do that or the mesh bag. So this mesh bag has, Mary Lou's, I love these mesh bags. I know my clients love these things. So, um, and this is just a regular intensity sport. And you know, Diana, either I'm mistaken, I don't remember where I put that men's, I don't remember them giving us the men's little mini fragrance set, but I could be wrong where I misplaced that. But anyway, we're supposed to get the fragrance minis. They're not here yet and you could pre-sell them, but we don't know when they're coming. So this is a men's cologne in a mesh bag with a little ornament. That's it, simple, simple. Mesh bags are the best. And then this is the, um, what did I do with the other one? Oh, I had the beard oil, but now I can't, I must have left in the other. Okay, so I had a beard oil and I left it the other, but the beard oil I would do in the mesh bag again. And I put a chocolate bar in there with it. And um, I got these Santa Claus ornaments that have a beard hanging like a gnome. And I tied it around the mesh bag because it had a beard. So beard oil with the chocolate bar in a mesh bag with a Santa Claus or a gnome ornament that has a beard hanging. That's it. Simple, simple. And last but not least, if you want to sell more than one piece of the mints, these I got from the 99 cents store last year. These are, I guess, kind of wine bags, but um, it's in the shape of a Santa suit with little feet. And I put the cleanser, the moisturizer, and the eye cream in case they want to and then that's just, you don't have to hang that. But I put, got those at the Dodger. This is from a 99 cents. You just have to look, you know, and um, I got grabbed a whole bunch of these. So that is all, Miss Diane, in my 10 minutes. No, actually you have three minutes left, but um, Kathy, so how do you approach when you sell for men? Do you sell mainly to the wives or to the, and to the girlfriends or do you sell directly to the? Mostly the girls, I mean the women, because I actually showed, uh, this two weeks ago, I already started selling. So I had these and I had a customer that bought three of these already. Um, and then today I had somebody shop out of my trunk. This got me all geared up. So I already showed three people stuff out of my, one in my house and two out of my trunk, but I'm still working on selling to the men. I don't think the men may not buy for themselves out of this, but the women will buy and mostly probably, you know, for their husbands or their boyfriends or whatever, but um, that's why you have to make them simple and just inexpensive, no more than 20, although the cleanser and, you know, of course the whole men's set is more, but yeah. Okay, I, great. And, and I think buy, the the, I mean, my personal experience, I don't think men will buy a wrapped gift for themselves. I don't think so. I think the black mesh bag with the men's fragrance collection that's going to be coming out is a brilliant idea because it's the perfect size. It's square. Yes. You could put something, a masculine ornament on it. I think that's brilliant. And those, those, I don't remember. Um, I didn't see it in our little unit support bag. Maybe I'm wrong, but I can't. Think. We did not get it. Okay, good. I thought I was wrong. I thought I was missing something, but the men's, men's uh, fragrance mini when we get it is kind of bluish turquoise and it has uh, three types of ocean, I believe, or one ocean or two oceans. I mean, high intensity, high intensity little vials in a blue box. So there's three vials. Anyways, you can wrap them in a mesh bag or just by itself. You don't need much. That's all. That's brilliant. Thank you so much, Kathy. Good job. Nice. And next we have Belinda. So Belinda, go ahead and come on. I've allowed you to turn your camera on. Hi guys. So my holiday season is going to start out with my eye gnome. Um, and it looks like this. It's just really cute and simple from the Dollar Tree. Um, let me grab really quick the little gnome sticks. I don't know if you guys have seen them yet or not, but they were stinking cute. So you take one of the gnome sticks, okay, and you pop the little stick off it, of course, and then you can either glue dot it or, or hot glue it. Um, I'm going to 
tell you that from trial and error, hot glue is the way to go. Most definitely keep your um, oil-free eye makeup remover in the box to do that. That way you're damaging the box and not the product. And then what I like to do is I like to always include either the cotton rounds or, um, or a, um, the, you know, the little reusable, whatever, if you still have those in stock, um, as the gift with purchase or whatever. Um, I like to always try to do stuff that is year round. And then I will just add a touch for the holidays. That way, if I got to take it apart, it's not so difficult. But here is what the little gnome, you know, it looks like he's got a little gnome sack and then his little gnome face and then just a little poofy. And all of this stuff, you guys, came from the dollar store. Um, I am not good at bows, as my unit can tell you. Um, but you just take some of that um, tool stuff and you put a rubber band around the end of it and that's what you glue to the box and then it creates this cute little puffy and i decided to go with um, burgundy and silver this year just because it goes beautifully with the mary Kay boxes um and just you know i can keep everything coordinated together so there's my little um eye gnome for you um, and to kind of show you what I do all year long. Linda, can you back up for one second? What product did you have with that gnome? I have the, the oil-free eye makeup remover. Okay, so I'm just checking. Okay. And you guys, you can, you can get creative too and add a mascara or an eyeliner, you know, whatever your, your customer wants or throw a gift certificate so that they can, um, buy those things, you know, once they call you to get some more oil-free eye makeup remover. Um, this is the box that I have been doing for my, oops, and I'm throwing it all over, <clears throat> that I've been doing for a year, a yearly um, oil-free eye makeup remover eye box bundle. Um, and again, you know, I went with the tool and some little beads that I found at the dollar store just to kind of cutesy the box, um, you know, some shred, um, I always like to include the box and with every product, just so, you know, directions and things like that. Um, when my customers purchase this for $50 um, for the year, they get a discount on a mascara every three to four months, whichever one that they, that they choose. And so um, that just keeps them stocked in the oil-free eye makeup remover. And of course, there's always bling. There's nothing in our life without bling. Um, and of course the cotton rounds that I put in a Mary Kay bag. So it says Mary Kay and not Dollar Tree or Fred Meyer or whoever. Okay. So there's, there's my eye products. Then this is the hydrogel eye patches. And this is my hydro boss, babe. And you can get eyelashes anywhere. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them at the Dollar Tree. You can get stickers whatever you want to do. Um, I try to up what I have and, um, and make it look cute. So, you know, of course I had to have some bling for her ponytail and then the ribbon and, um, and then of course her eyelashes. If you use um, synthetic or somewhat real cloth eyelashes, like I do, You'll want to, after hot gluing them, do not glue dot. It does not work. <laughs> um, you'll want to press the eyelashes for a few minutes and kind of fluff them back up before you give them to your customer. Okay. So this um, is still the $40. You know, I just use up what I already have on hand. The gnome is um, $15 and less, of course. Um, you know, you're going to add a mascara or an eyeliner to it. And then of course it's a little more. Um, and then of course, you know, you just go to the Dollar Tree and you get your ribbon or curl it yourself. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm so busy, you guys, that I'm going to go get the shred already curled and just kind of play with it and, and do whatever I like, but everything I can find at the dollar store, um, not everything is great at the dollar store, so be careful. Um, but you can really do some great things if you if you think about it. Okay. 
So, so Linda, last... before, before we go on, somebody was yeah. asking what products were in the eye box. Do you mind just recapping that super quick? Oh, absolutely. So in the yearly eye box, it's just the oil-free eye makeup remover, the, um, the cotton pads. I will, you know, depending on if they get a mascara or an highlighter to add to their box, I'll do the reusables. That way they're not staying with the cotton, you know, because we want them to take care of their eyes and not push on their eyes too much. And the cotton rounds are just a whole lot um, better, you know, environment and, you know, for your skin. So, um, and then of course the oil-free eye makeup room remover that's decorated and then the box and all the goodies and there's a better better view I think of the bow and it's not even really a bow you guys like I literally just scrunched it up with a rubber band at the end made it poofy cut some of these little guys so that I can fluff it up and then put little two little balls right there so, so the, the product yeah. the, the product in there though is just the eye makeup remover yeah okay yeah Okay. And depending on the customer, you're going to add mascara or um, eyeliner um, or the Isolar eye water gel. Yeah. So kind of whatever they want to do. Yeah. Okay. So last but not least is my Tootsie Roll. Okay. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm really into giving my customers candy. Um However, not chocolate, as I have learned, melts in the mail, regardless of where you live. Um, so I've gotten attached to, to Tootsie Rolls because it's still chocolate, okay? Every woman loves chocolate. So um, I have, and these you get at the dollar store too, guys. Um, <laughs> literally, let me kind of pull this apart here. I take the the um, Tootsie Roll container and kind of dissect it, take it apart. And then I take my Minfoot Bliss out of the box, put it at the bottom, put my socks, kind of shove this in the Tootsie Roll container itself. And it just kind of swishes right in there so that you can keep the top of the tissue paper really cute. Then I shove a few Tootsie Rolls down in the bottom of it and stuff my socks down in there with it. However, I'm going to keep the toes out just so that you can see the pink tips. It just kind of gives it an, an added accent. And then I'll stuff a few more Tootsie Rolls back in there and fluff out my tissue paper and voila. However, I'm sure your director um, has the PDFs for you to wrap in tissue paper or whatever your, um, and do these little labels over tissue paper or paper or wrapping paper, whatever you wanna do to make your Tootsie Roll as well. So it's something to kind of plan for um, next year. Um, so be looking for them. You probably only need about 10 or so. Cut the bottoms off and save them for, you know, next year. And yeah, really fun and simple. But everything's from the dollar store, um, including my candy. So really simple and easy. Love it, Belinda. And if you could send me that Tootsie Roll PDF, I will post it on the on all the different Facebook pages so that people can print it out. Cause that would go great on the little canisters that you can buy at the Dollar Tree. Absolutely. And something that I missed guys was um, in my hydro gel eye patches. Um, one of the directors um, that I was watching the other day actually had a good idea. She um, includes directions on how to use your hydro hydrogel eye patches. Cause I've had some, customers do some pretty phenomenal things. And so um, I just slipped that in the back of the box um, or underneath the container itself. And um, I, Diane, I will provide you with that as well, that PDF. That would be great. Thank you so much. Give it up right. for Glenda. Great job. Congrats. Thank you so, so much. I think everyone wants to hurry up and finish so we can all go to the Dollar Tree. Just right. kidding. Okay, so take it away, Kimberly Victor.
<clears throat> Woohoo, Belinda, those were awesome, girl. Well, I um, I love, I mean, I'm taking so many notes. I hope all of you are as well. My, I have three things that I've been absolutely loving doing, and it's simple. So the first one is, and I've been showing this for months, but it's our travel bag, the color bag. It's still available on section one. So go find them. And I'm going to show you how to put all of these together. So what you're going to need is the travel bag. Kimberly, do you know how much the travel bag is, babe? There's 16. Retail. And this is how they come. Okay. And I saw how deep they were. And my immediate thought was that would be perfect for our sonic brush. And if you don't know what the sonic brush is, it's this guy right here. And if you're not using it yet, I highly recommend because once you start using it, then you'll be super excited about it. And when you're excited about it, that like rolls over, spills over into your excitement on um, these kinds of things. And this is great for like a college student. It's great for that hard to shop person. Um, and so I put this inside my bag. Where'd my bag go? Oops, oops, oops. Hi, that was clever. I put it, first of all, you wanna make sure that your business card is in every single thing that you wrap. So you put the business card in there or a, a gift certificate. I usually have gift certificates. I shouldn't have one handy today. In the bottom of this, I'll either put the strip of the 3D or you can increase your cost and add one of the time-wise um, 3D sets and they'll fit on the side. You can just um, set it in the side of your bag a little bit. Then you'll put a bunch of shred in there, but I actually wait and I don't put the shred on the bottom because you can't see it on the bottom anyway. So I literally just stuff the shred on the sides, as you can see on the one that I've already done, it's all on the sides. And then I'll put a really cute flower like Mary Lou was talking about, the Dollar Tree, whatever. Um, uh, you can have a shiny one, you can have all different color flowers. And how pretty is that gonna look on your table um, when you display? Super fun, um, get creative. You can put other things in there, gift certificates, whatever, but those are super, super fun. And then of course I have been wrapping with the charcoal mask. Also, I have um, a way to do it without cello or any of those other things. And it's fine if you don't have the beautiful washcloth, you can get, um, you can get washcloths on Amazon or Dollar Tree. I prefer to use something that has a little bit more quality. So I don't necessarily buy my washcloths at Dollar Tree, but that's just me. I like a little bit better quality um, on my washcloths. And so I folded this perfectly so it's seamless. There is no seams. I am a little OCD on that. There can't be any wrinkles or crinkles in there. And then I just found these super cute boat, the ribbon. I don't know if Costco has it this year, but I found this at Paper Mart and I'm obsessed with this. I think it's so pretty but it looks a little plain in the middle and me just like Belinda, I love me my bling on my items. So I put three little, um, three little, um, uh, uh, little ruby stones in there. And I, I'm crazy with my hot glue gun. But um, anyway, so that's what I did. So this is more for the girls. Well, then I thought, well, that's really smart. What are you gonna do for the guys? So I have these washcloths that I had, I purchased a ton of them a couple years ago. So I can't even tell you where I got them, but um, I bought a bunch of them. They're black washcloths when the charcoal mask like first came out. So it was like three years ago. I bought a lot, just saying. Um, and I stuffed just a little, uh, uh, a little reindeer in there. And of course um, he's gotta be all wrapped up with his chocolate. So you just stuff that down in there nice and tight. So he stays and just a really cute little bow on there. Can you all see that? So this is his and hers for the charcoal mask. And this can go for a young man. I mean, you can really kind of just um, create it any way that you like. And of course on the women's or either one of them, you can just slip the, um, the mask applicator in there with it as well and just increase your price on that. I know Belinda um, talked a little bit about the boxes. You guys really take advantage of these boxes. They're so cute. I saw Lori just, um, it was the charcoal mask that was in that. That was the product in there. Um, I saw Lori posted just a minute ago in the chat section that uh, the boxes are on sale on section on section two. Or are they on section two uh, on the pink sale? They are or, on section one. Yeah, they're, one, still they're on, on section, section one. So they're not on sale yet. No, they're but the, you can, no, they're, they're available. I should have said available. available. Oh, gotcha. I thought maybe they were already like, 
ready to go out. Oh my gosh. So anyways, I love them and I'm actually using them for nesting boxes this year. I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to put in them, but I stack them all up and I may have a gift certificate to a local restaurant or a spa or something for my client. And then um, maybe candy canes or her favorite chocolates in the middle one. And then Mary Kay in the bottom one. And you get, get creative and have fun with that, you guys. Those boxes are so beautiful this year. The company is doing such a great job. Be very careful with the bow one. I've already ripped this one. They're um, uh, just be really careful when you're putting these guys together. Because, um, well, uh, maybe I'm just all thumbs. Okay, and what was the third thing I was supposed to wrap? Um, where did it go? Oh, here it is. Then last but not least, something simple. You know, um, last year I went cuckoo with the, sanitizers. I love the sanitizers much like what the what Belinda did with the footsie rolls. I did with the sanitizer with the little Santa belt on them. And those are excellent stocking stuffers. And I sold them for 10 each when I had them all wrapped up and cute. Um, this year, I um, just really love doing a hand cream. So there's a hand cream stuffed in there, my business card, and then just one of the simple bows. And I'll, I can... Um, I still have three minutes. I might be able to show you how to wrap a bow. But basically, it's just a, um, a seasonal towel. And you can do this for the fall holiday. You can do it for a birthday. You can do this all year long. So don't just think of this at Christmas time. And I folded it kind of like a diaper. OK, so then you're just going to put I've actually lost my um, so I'll just use this as if it were my as if it were my um, we have time to show us how you wrap that. Okay, I will. So I, I just, I wrapped it like a diaper. So I just folded it in there and I wrapped it again. I like them seamless. So I like everything tidy and cute. And then I just took a ribbon and wrapped it around and tied it tight. So it was on there. And then my second bow was, hold on. Got it. All right, so my second is I take a nice long strip and you want it almost arm length. And if it, this one, of course, is doesn't, it's not double-sided, so it doesn't matter. So what you can just roll it up and you want it an, an odd number. And I usually do a minimum of five, but this one will only hold three because I just wrapped it really quick. And then you fold it in the middle. What I like to do, and I learned this from Fortune, and it was so smart, I can't even tell you. If you were to tie this ribbon like this, it gets bunchy in the middle. But if you fold it over and then cut the edges, so just cut it just like that, and I'll show you what that looks like. So you just cut the edges so it kind of has a, see how it's kind of kind of got a notch in the corners? You take a piece of that mesh ribbon, which I am a huge fan of, you're going to tie a knot in the middle of this and you can sit in front of the tv and make dozens of these while you're waiting for your husband to cook you dinner or bring you wine or whatever it is that he's supposed to be doing anyways so then it looks like this kind of looks like a bow tie kind of thing so then you're going to fluff out your ribbon okay super simple one up one down so and i'll show you why when you want it up and down if you do it all the same it it doesn't it doesn't look fluffy so you do them one up, one down, and I just mean it, push them in the opposite directions. And then when you tie it on your, then you tie it on with that mesh ribbon, you tie it onto that original uh, bow down there. And then it's just, and there it is. And it looks just really sweet and fun and don't have one or two in a basket. You want like 15 or 20 of in a basket. Why? Because if you have one or two in a basket or three, Somebody might just buy one or two. They won't, they won't, they're not thinking like the 10 people in their office or, you know, all their grandchildren or whatever it is. And their grandchildren, I'm not thinking kids. I'm thinking like, a, you know, somebody that has adult grandchildren or whatever. But it's so simple, you guys, and get creative. And it's, um, um, I know that grocery outlet, oh my gosh, sometimes grocery outlet has the cutest things and pretty unique things. And they had really good quality and I bought so many. I've also, and I'm gonna sneak in a last thing. You know, when you can buy little things like this that are already like made, just little decoration things. You can actually, I actually took one of the um, rats. I don't have one. 
I don't have anything. I just came from an event and everything's packed away. But um, oh, there's my 10 minute, 10 minute marker. Sorry. Um, but you can just like hot glue something on the top with a little bow. And um, it's just really fun and easy and cute. And you don't have to decorate it because it's already decorated. Just put a Mary Kay something on there. It's cute for someone's desk. That's all I got. Okay, great. Give Kimberly a big round of applause. Thank you, Kimberly. Oh my gosh. You guys, I'm seriously going to go to Dollar Tree tonight, which is like really a scary thought. So let me come back on camera here. Okay, so we've just heard some great ideas. Just to kind of recap, Mary Lou talked about the pink clay mask in the black mesh bag. She talked about the satin lips. I love the um, the world theme of like the world bazaar theme. And she got those really clever bags. I will resource, resource these guys so you don't have to like not know what to get. If you guys want to do Amazon, I'm trying not to do Amazon personally, but um, if I can find stuff local. But if you need any help with resources, there is this company called My Girlfriend's House. It's not actually My Girlfriend's House, but it is, that's the name of the company. And that's where we get a lot of our ribbon and our tool and stuff. And so I'll be happy to post because she's a Mary Kay woman um, and it's a business that her family owns. So I'd love to promote her, of course. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to share a couple of things really, really quick. Um, the first thing that nobody talked about that I think is the greatest thing that Mary Kay could have come out with, is, which is this, the 12 days of fates. This, in my opinion, has to be the best gift anybody could possibly get or give for the holidays because it doesn't say Christmas. It could be for a bridal shower, could be for a baby shower. In fact, I just got invited to a baby shower in three weeks. The mommy to be is getting this. Like, this is what the mommy's going to get instead of <laughs> something for the baby. So, what I will tell you about the 12 days of phase, a couple of things. Make sure you open three or four of the boxes and put your sticker, your reorder sticker, and I'll show you what I mean. If you don't know, if you have not ordered business cards and you're relatively new, can you guys all see my reorder sticker on the bottom of the eye makeup remover? You don't know who they're giving these gifts to. So you want to put a sticker on there. So maybe open the charcoal mask and take the, the mask out and put a sticker on that. The foundation primer, take that out, put a sticker on that. In my 12 days of faves, I always, always, always include, and I will post this on the Facebook page, an editable um, gift certificate that entitles them to a new look for the new year with you. I put a dollar amount to it and therefore I'm allowed to put an expiration date on it because I'm not charging for it. I'm giving the gift certificate away. So it might be worth $15 that expires January 31st. And I tuck that into the 12 days of faves. Another great idea is open the, the full-size foundation primer. I don't remember what box number that is, but you'll it's all listed on here. Um, and include a sample of CC cream. Find out who they're going to give it to, what her skin tone is, because you probably would get a CC cream reorder out of that if it's tucked in with the foundation primer. Also, if you want, you could either tuck in a fuzzy headband or a washcloth in one of the boxes that isn't too full. So you could always customize these and even make these even more special. But I did add up how much of goodies are in here and it's $128 retail. So the client's getting them for 99 and we're not charging for the boxes. So they get this whole fabulous thing, okay? So with that said, I wanna to talk to you guys just for a minute about um, corporate gift buying because I don't know how some of you feel, but when I was a newer consultant, the thought of contacting a business Oh my gosh, that just like almost made me want to get sick. Just the idea of that was like, oh no. So what I did is I made a list of five people that I know personally that have a business. Like I do go to a chiropractor. I do have a CPA who does my taxes. I know two attorneys, even though they're not technically my attorney. I do know two attorneys. I know several realtors. And so I started with, and then the guy who sells me my homeowner's insurance. <laughs> and so I went to them last year. And I, so here's the one key thing. Know your prices, especially if you're dealing with men. And I know I'm stereotyping, so don't take that personal. But with men, you have to know the price. They want to know bottom line, how much for that, how much for that. So when I went to Kevin and I said to Kevin, I said, hey, have you finished your holiday shopping? And it was mid-October and he starts to laugh and he goes, you're really funny. And I said, I just thought I'd ask because a lot of business um, owners are already taking care of things early since everything's so unpredictable this year. This was last year during COVID. And he said, no, what'd you have in mind? And I said, how, this was a key question I asked him, how many, I said, or who on your staff do you normally appreciate with a gift? That's what I asked him. Who on your staff do you normally appreciate with a gift? And he says, I have two people, an office manager and an assistant. And I said, do you spend about the same for them? And he said, no. 
So before I asked him about budget, I said, you know, do you spend about the same? He said, no, I buy my office manager something a little bit more expensive. And I said, okay, do you have a price point? And he goes, eh, you know, something, you know, a little under a hundred and the other one, probably half of that. And I said, okay. And I pulled out the 12 days of phase and he looked at that and he said, I want that for Marilyn, his office manager. And I said, okay. I said, this is, this is a gift that any woman who gets this is going to be talking about this for the next two to three years and say, do you remember that holiday that you gave me that big box with all the little boxes? I had so much fun. And so once he said he wanted one, he said, you know, my wife would probably like that, right? And I said, oh, your wife would die for this. And I said, she's going to love everything in there. And it comes 100% satisfaction guarantee. He goes, okay, I'll take one for my wife too. I said, okay. Now I don't know him real personally, so I don't know if he's got other people in his life. And I said, well, what about the office manager? And he decided to get satin hands and satin lips because it was all about self-care for her. And I put that set together. And then he said, you know what? He goes, my daughter's 28. He goes, would she like that box thing too? I said, I can't imagine she wouldn't at 28 years old. And he goes, okay, then I'll take one for her too. So one gentleman bought three 12 days of faves and a satin lips and satin hands set. So the purchase was about 350. And I told him he could give me a half deposit, the other half on delivery. He said, no, it's okay. I'll give you my credit card now for the whole thing. So that just gives you an idea. That's one business. Then I said the key question, and this is where I think a lot of us forget to do, as I did in the beginning, is I said, Kevin, who else do you know that's either in insurance or that you do business with that you think would benefit from this? He goes, actually, I have a colleague that we used to do insurance and he's now on his own, but go ahead and give him a call. I'll give you his number. So when I called him, I said, Kevin referred me to you because he did his holiday shopping with me. So it gives you a segue to reach out to other businesses. Now, if you're going to reach out to your dentist, your orthodontist, your veterinarian, you guys look at who you write checks to. <laughs> Anybody who owns a business. All right. Now, if they're a small business like the electrician at the end of my street, he doesn't have a staff, but he gets referral gifts. He gets a lot of referrals. And so I said to him, Zach, what are you giving as a referral gift? And his face kind of looked a little stressed and he goes, am I supposed to be giving referral gifts? I said, well, did you have a lot of people this year give you referrals? And he said, two people in particular. I said, then you probably want to acknowledge them. And he says, I'm assuming you have something in mind. <laughs> I said, I do. So find out what their price point is. So when I typically approach businesses, I have like an, a hundred dollar price point. I have something around the 60 to $75 price point. Then I have something 30 to 40 and then the under 30. So I'm going to give you just a couple quick ideas. Of course, the $9,900 price point, of course, I would do the 12 days of faves. Or I would do Kimberly's Sonic brush with the bag. And you could even tuck in one or two little things into that to bring it up to closer to 100. If they want something in the 50 to $60, masking right now is huge. So I would put the charcoal mask with the gel mask and the applicator because that would sell for roughly you know, between 55 and 60. You could also do satin hands and satin lips. I also love doing the roll-up, our, our large travel roll-up with the hearts on it. They could buy that for 35 and they could put notes in it about appreciation, but you can tuck in gift certificates, a color card, samples. You guys can customize that roll-up however you want. And that roll-up is probably one of the most practical gifts that every time they use it, people will think of the boss. They will say, thank you so much. So that's what I actually talked to Zach about. And he goes, yeah, he goes, I think I'm going to do that roll-up thing. He ran it by his wife and she goes, get the roll-up bag. And so he bought two of those for me. But again, it's about, most people will buy in multiples, if that makes sense. Okay, so I want to share with you one last quick idea. And this is when you talk about stocking stuffers or you approach people that are going to be buying multiples of things. I looked at my receipts from last year and I had several people who are in either wine clubs, bunco groups, Bible studies, um, they're in craft groups and they like to buy something not too expensive for everybody or they'll do a gift exchange kind of thing. And so what you want to do is you want to come up with three different categories for stocking stuffers. So everything I'm going to mention really quick is under $20 and I put things in three categories. So let's say Melanie was my client. I say, Melanie, do you finish all your shopping? And she'll laugh and she'll say no. And I say, well, do you need any little tuck-in stuff? Because I've got great stuff. Everything's under 20. Can I share it with you? Now, women are curious because when they think that you have a lot of stuff that's under 20, they, women love a deal. So they were like, yeah, show me what you have. And I'd say, well, let me think. Think of the first person you would want to get something for. Is she a minimalist? Is she a fashionista? 
or is she all about personal care, self-care, masking, spa type of woman? She said, the first one I'm thinking about is more of a tomboy. She's a minimalist. I said, okay, great. So here's your idea. So I showed her the eye makeup remover. I didn't show her one blinged out, but you get my drift. So eye makeup remover would be great for a minimalist. Mm -hmm. Of course, the micellar water. Again, these are both 17. <clears throat> the other thing great for a minimalist is the mint bliss with the socks. You wrap them cute, just like Belinda suggested. This is an $11 gift game, 11 bucks. Perfect for a minimalist. And the last thing is a fabulous basic Fanorama mascara. Every woman at some point, even the minimalists are going to say, oh, I'm going out for a cocktail or something. I better put on mascara. <laughs> so this could be perfect. So any four of these are great for the minimalist. Now I am going to share something with you. When I was growing up, we typically got in our stocking, toothbrushes, toothpaste, band-aids, gum, um, like deodorant, like all the stuff that's kind of like I don't know. I'd stuff you need, but it's not exciting. There's like zero wow factor, right? So this would wow me. Like if I got fuzzy, cool socks and this amazing mint lotion, that's got wow factor, right? A fun fanorama mascara in the pink tube totally has some wow factor. The box is even cute. The micellar water is practical, but it's not something she's going to expect, right? And the same thing with the eye makeup remover, especially if you bling it out. Again, fun wow factor. Now, let's say Melanie said to me, well, my two sister-in-laws, they're both fashionistas. And I say, oh, Melanie, I have you covered. And I said, do you want to literally have them flip out? And Melanie goes, yeah, what'd you have in mind? And say, oh, these metallic liners are to die for. One is copper, one is silver. Of course, show her the lookbook and say, Melanie, these are only 12 each. And she might say, oh my gosh, give me, give me both for both of my sister-in-laws. These have wow factor, you guys. They're not expecting a metallic copper eyeliner. And the, at this price point, these are going to sell out super fast. So these are 12 each. Um, you could always, of course, do mascara. But if Melanie's got fashionistas in her life, gang, jump on these. Whatever's left still, whether it be the, the pink or the silver, I think the pink one may already be sold out. But the graphite, if you have these in your inventory, show these. Literally show them. Take your personal one, demo it on the back of your hand, show it on camera. These have wow factor. This is something anybody would get excited to see in their stocking. And people will buy multiples of these. Moms of teenagers, or if you've got a teenage daughter that wants to exchange gifts with her eight friends, this is the perfect thing that they'll want. And again, these are 16. The last thing for the fashionista is this. This is my favorite makeup brush. It's our blending brush. It's the one that looks like a toothbrush. There is not a client out there that I haven't sent this to that doesn't call me and say, that is my favorite brush. So you guys, when your customers spend a lot of money with you and you're trying to think of something fun to tuck in, tuck in this brush. It has over 16,000 bristles. It's super soft if you're not familiar with it. This is great for the fashionista who already has a lot of stuff. Maybe she's got a lot of makeup, but this will become her all-time favorite brush. And this brush is 16. One last thing, which is also 16, are the sparkle powders. All you need to do is just give her one of these with a little brush. And again, a lot of wow factors. She's not expecting that in her stocking, right? <clears throat> And then for the woman who is into personal care and spa, you want to find three things under 20. The first thing being, of course, Mary Lou talked about already, the pink clay mask. And you could put it in the mesh bag. Another super easy idea is to, I got these um, on Amazon last year and we got 12 headbands for, I think, $10. And I just take the headband like this. I put it on the box like this. I just take this and twist this and straighten it up in the front so you can't even see that it's a mask and it looks like this in the back. Of course, put your sticker on it and this could be all you do. That could be all the wrapping that you need, right? And you can always put a little uh, masking brush, but this is under 20, this is 18. Another great thing for the pampering woman is botanical effects makes a facial scrub. So this is great, you guys, for anybody who doesn't wanna spend the money on microderm because maybe their daughter is 15 or 20 or whatever, and they don't want to spend money on microderm. This is not a microderm abrasion, but it is a facial scrub. And they could do this two or three times a week. This is a great thing. And this is inexpensive. It's 18. And then of course, for the spa kind of girl, not expensive is our apple and almond or berry and vanilla. These are 14. You guys, these take up a ton of room in a stocking. <laughs> They're a very, very big size. These are perfect for the minimalist that are um, the woman who just wants some personal care, right? These are great for stocking stuff. Um, okay, then my last thing, I've, last two things I wanna share is this is on pink sale. 
These last year were 25 retail. They now have them marked down to 18. So your cost is $9. So there's a couple of fun things you can do with these. First of all, when I get these, I of course put a gift certificate and my information inside. But these four masks are separate. They're each individually um, sealed separately. So they could try one at a time. What's cool about this though, is you could actually offer these as a gift with purchase. Like if Melanie's on and Melanie spends more than hundred, I'd say, oh, Melanie, for every 50 you spend, I'm gonna include a little one of these. Which one of these four would you like for you? And which one would you like for your sister? And she might say, I want the Miss Perfect for me and Energy Queen for my sister. And I will literally pop out the little individual square and literally send these to her as a, as a separate little masking thing. You can use these for drawings, but these were one of my biggest gifts last year and I just put a headband around them like this. This is 25 by itself. It was last year. This was 12. Okay. So it was 37. So I just sold these at the, like this for 38. This year you could sell them if you wanted to for 35. But again, the masking sets are really, really fun. And then my very last idea is <clears throat> taking something as simple as this compact, which by the way, fits in our big box. So you take the box, you put this inside it with some shred. Okay, and then what you do is you put a, maybe a catalog in the bottom, a lookbook and some samples. Then in this one, you put maybe a color card with an eyeliner sample and maybe a primer sample. And then even on the top one, you could put some little disposable applicators, maybe a lip, a little lip wand, something that they could apply. And you could literally have, like Kimberly shared, an entire tower of gifts that she would get. And you could attach all three of these boxes with sticky dots and a fun ribbon and they would get this entire tower. What I love about these compacts, you guys, these are the big compact. I always, although you can ask what color their eyes are, I just buy the green eye color card for everybody. Why? It doesn't matter whether they're ivory, beige, or bronze. These mauve colors look gorgeous on everyone. And so I include this inside this or to the top of this, as well as a gift certificate. And this is fun because guess what this does? This also guarantees you an appointment right after the holidays because she has to spend the gift certificate. Can you imagine getting this and having a 50, 75, 100, $150 gift card to fill it? Oh my gosh. Can you imagine how exciting that would be? So you could literally, this is a, one of the greatest gifts. Cause if you think about it, if somebody gave you an empty compact and a bunch of money to fill it, wouldn't that be fun? I think this would be great, but this is another great staff gift idea. If somebody's looking for their staff and they'd say, yeah, she's really into makeup say, oh, you cannot go wrong with this. You get a compact with a gift certificate and she can fill it. Okay, so those are lots and lots and lots of ideas. I will tell you, just like Mary Lou showed clip-ons, Belinda showed clip-ons, I was at Walmart and I found these. Um, they're just a plastic poinsettia. I know that doesn't sound very pretty when I say plastic, but they're really quite pretty. I think these were 99 cents and they have the big clip. So when you do a really, really basic bow like this, you literally can clip this on here and it just makes your gift look like a million dollars, right? And it doesn't require a lot of talent from the, the uh, Mary Kay person, <laughs> it should be me. So what I'd love to do right now is I wanna first of all, thank all of the teachers tonight. Um, I wanna just recap with one thing before we open up to questions. Several of the things we talked about are limited edition. So if you're new on here and you aren't familiar with what could possibly sell out and what couldn't. So let me recap really quick. Beard oil for men is limited edition. So whenever it sells out, it sells out, all right? The socks, the mint bliss doesn't sell out, but the socks are limited edition. So when they're gone, they're gone. The, the 12 days of faves is also limited edition. Any of this sparkle stuff from fall, the liquid liners, all of this stuff that you guys see here, this is all limited when it's gone, it's gone. So that's pretty much most of the limited edition. Everything else you saw is our regular line. Now the perfumes, we haven't gotten an update from yet. We're still waiting for corporate to let us know when they are available, but there will be three men's fragrances in the blue box and then three women's fragrances in the pink box. And those will retail for 36 whenever they become available. So I hope you guys have loved tonight. I'm gonna to open it up for questions and I can't wait to hear what you guys think. Sorry. So we want to add one little quick idea is wish list. So let's say you're doing a one-on-one -on -one facial or a skincare party. And I use these at every single facial and party. It's called a hashtag party board. And I just ask them throughout the party to write down everything they saw that they would love for free. Like, what would you love to have in your bathroom? So she's going to probably fill this whole sheet out. 
And then when she texts it to me, she might only purchase the one thing on here that says skincare. As we get closer to Christmas, depending on the woman, sometimes they don't spend as much on themselves. So let's say she picks two things for herself and there's four other things on here. I might say to her, well, gosh, Mary, um, I'm assuming, did you want to get those for free as a hostess? Or did you want me to call the Santa in your life and get them in your stocking? And she goes, oh my gosh, call my boyfriend. He so needs help. And I said, great. What's your boyfriend's name and number? She'll give it to me. Now, super key, because I was embarrassed the first time. First question he asked is how much is everything on her list? Well, I didn't know he was going to ask me that. I thought he was going to ask me what's on her list. It's not that he didn't care, but I didn't have it added up. So I said, oh, I'm so sorry. Can you wait just a second? I wanted to crawl under my desk because I should have been more prepared, but I'd never called a husband or boyfriend to sell something to. So I quickly added it up, did tax. And I said, oh, with tax, everything, it's whatever the total was. And I said, there's absolutely no charge for the wrap. And he says, okay, great. I'll take it. So every once in a while, they'll say what's on the list. Sometimes they'll say, can you take a picture of it so I can see her list? Most of the time they want to know the bottom line, <laughs> how much is her list? How much is everything on her list? So, um, when you guys are getting these wish lists, you definitely want to follow up with those because that's that's kind of the future of, of your business is the wish list and getting those.